Nowadays, there aren't that many Android launchers that can compete with the big OG Nova launcher. Most of them have been abandoned by the developer, and many people are just sticking with their stock launcher because ever since Android 10, most phones don't allow third-party launchers to support the gesture navigation properly. That's why whenever you switch to something like Nova Launcher or Niagara, jumping into the Recents menu feels choppy and slow. Well, I have some exciting news. Launcher is back from the grave and it's here to fix all those problems with its newest alpha version 12.0. To be honest, it's not as feature packed as its older versions because the developers rewrote everything based on Launcher 3 from Android 12, and they're planning to add all of those old goodies back in future updates. But still, it's got some new features that even take it a step further from the competition. It's the first third party launcher to bring a taste of Google's new Material U design to devices running Android versions as low as 8.1. One of my favorite new features is that you can now have wallpaper based themes. This means that the menus, app drawer, Google Discover panel, and settings all match the colors of my chosen background. It even determines its own dynamic accent color instead of following the system one if you're already on Android 12. But of course, you can still choose to use the system accent color or just choose your own color. The launcher is also very similar to the new Pixel launcher found within the Pixel 6 Pro running Android 12. It's got the same redesigned widgets panel where you can search for widgets and the menus are collapsed to see more apps at once. It also has the same Google search bar on the home screen with an icon for Google Assistant and another one for Google Lens, the same app drawer search bar that animates when I begin to scroll, the new Google Discover panel that matches the colors of my wallpaper. You just need to ensure that Lawn Feed 3 is installed, a secondary app to enable the Discover panel, and any widgets that you use will also automatically be forced to have rounded corners. Now, aside from all those similar features, there are also some exclusive ones that not even the Pixel Launcher has. But before I review those, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. VPNs are the best way to stay secure and private while surfing the web, and Atlas VPN is the best to choose from with over 6 million users worldwide. With Atlas VPN, your device is given a new IP and DNS address to hide and change your real location for many pesty trackers. I found this to come in handy when I wanted to watch a YouTube video that is not available in my country. On top of that, with Atlas, my internet traffic gets encrypted and routed through the VPN server to keep my data secured, and it also blocks any malicious links, ads, trackers, and lets me know when someone is trying to steal my data. Keeps me on top of my internet security. The speeds are also really fast, so you won't need to worry about any websites loading slowly or a file taking forever to download. Plus, the best part is that Atlas VPN protects all of my devices with a single subscription. It's available on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. If this is something you'd be interested in using, you're in luck because right now Atlas VPN is running a huge discount on their three year deal for just $1.39 per month. Let me repeat that because I'm not sure if you heard me. $1.39 per month. Plus it comes with 30 day money back guarantee. It's honestly a fantastic deal, but it won't last forever. So make sure to act fast by clicking the link in the description. Anyways, there are plenty of new exclusive features found within Launcher 12. First off, even though this is a minor edit, I am still very grateful that I can finally remove the at a glance widget to finally space out any widgets I place on the home screen, such as those giant, beautiful Google widgets. You guys don't understand how much this means to me. I can also change the Launcher's font within the settings. They even provide a huge list to choose from. So luckily, if you know the font name, then you can try to search for it. On top of that, if you have a pixel and you're rooted, Launcher 12 provides even more features. For example, within the Recents menu, the Select Text option will automatically be replaced with Google Lens. So now I can do even more with my most recently used apps instead of just highlighting text. You just need to make sure that the Google Lens app is installed as well. I can also put a Clear All button right below my recently used apps instead of it having being at the end. And I can increase the corner radius of the cards within the Recents menu. The fun doesn't stop there though. With Root, I can even have app suggestions appear on my home screen stock. Yes, the same feature that is exclusively found within the original Pixel Launcher, it's pretty useful. But my most favorite exclusive rooted feature found within Launcher 12 is that it still supports Quick Switch. Yes, it's a Magis module that systemlessly enables the Recents menu to get those beautiful animations when closing or opening apps. Plus, jumping into the Recents page is so much smoother and quicker. It feels like I'm actually using the original Pixel Launcher. I honestly haven't rooted my phone in months, but this definitely made me do it. Finally, you still have all the general third-party launcher options like support for icon packs, a customizable home screen grid, folder grid, the option to change the icon size for those on the home screen or app drawer, the option to remove the status bar, and a lot more. 
Finally, just a quick tip from your fellow Android customizer, even though Launcher 12 doesn't support the new color changing icons from Google, if you're on Android 12, I highly recommend you download PixMaterial U icons because this icon pack adapts to the colors of your wallpaper. And since it supports over 3000 icons, almost every icon within the app drawer matches the colors of your wallpaper. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, those are all of the features that Launcher 12 has thus far. As I said before, since it's still in an early alpha stage, there are quite a few missing features. Things like gesture controls, several options to customize the at-a-glance widget, change the search engine, a backup and restore option, and a ton more minor features for customization. On top of that, it's still a bit buggy, so if you install it, just know that you may experience a few random crashes over time, but I'm still super excited for the future of Launcher 12, and I can't wait to see what new features the developers release. Of course, this alpha build isn't on the Play Store just yet, but you can download it through the link in the description. For any future updates, make sure to keep an eye on their Telegram channel. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're pumped to try out Launcher 12, please be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. Also, if you like this video, why not get subscribed with the notification bell turned on? As I always say, quality videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out. Also, don't forget that Atlas VPN is running a massive discount on their three year premium plan for just $1.39 a month. The link is down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!